Well, I would say within the Supreme Audit Institutions, the, the new generation that are coming up need to be empowered to do what we are doing as citizens in our country. And I think one of the best ways in empowering them is to get them into leadership positions, getting them to understand what it means and getting them to know what they're supposed to do in such positions. I have noticed that many young people do not want to take the responsibility within the size. They may have their reasons for that, but I think such a program is quite pertinent in making sure that they understand their roles within the organizations and their roles as citizens of the countries they find themselves. The young Sai leaders will definitely make an impact within the size and in their country. If, for example, a member of staff is in charge of a particular audit team and is not empowered to lead that team, it will definitely cause a negative impact within the organization. Um, how can we develop them? Capacity is very important in our business, in the auditing business. And um, capacity doesn't just mean the technical know-how of doing what they have to do, but also the whole social environment within which they operate. And I believe that this leadership program for young people will enable them to mold and build themselves to get the right skills to deal with the whole environment which we, in which they operate. Taking the stakeholders they deal with into consideration, they have to deal with people who may not even understand what Sai business is all about. They should be competent enough to educate these people of what Sai business is all about. They need to be able to make rash and firm decisions when dealing with certain stakeholders. So it is very important that um, as young people, they are empowered to do what they have to do. If, for example, uh, a young senior staff, a young leader is faced with a situation wherein they have to make very, very serious decisions for their side. If they have not been empowered, if they have not been given the right skills, if they have not been told that you need this kind of competencies, if they do not have the right attributes and attitudes to deal with such a situation, it may not only be negative to themselves, but it will also be detrimental to the Sai as a whole. I would say that my message to the young leaders, as I mentioned to them earlier, is that they should be focused on what they are here to do. They should be fair to all who they come across. Let me give you an example. As a leader, you are going to be dealing with diverse individuals, with diverse characters. If you do not have the skill to deal with such characters, it will be detrimental to you as a person and also to the side. So it is important that um, as a young Sai leader, you embrace all that you will be told during the this next two weeks. It is important that you understand what your role is within your Sai, and it's important that you understand that your role in your country is to make the lives of your citizens better. So I wish you all the best for the next two weeks and we look forward to better empowered size through this training program that you are going through. I thank you.